Yeah. Hi, this is Slime Dog. And Tupper. And today we're playing Cotton, uh, or Fantastic Night Cotton, uh, reboot, the reboot of or Cotton. Fantastic Night Dreams. Fantastic cotton Night Dreams reboot. Cotton. Oh, I'm reboot. still not getting it right. Cotton Reboot. Yes. Fantastic Night Dreams Cotton Reboot. And. Is it two separate things? I don't know. It is indeed. Oh, Success. There's the name I recognize. Success makes great scrolling shooters. Um, and this is a really fun kind of classic scrolling shooter from back in the day that we didn't get in the States because it was made on a system that only was in Japan. What system? Uh, the 68, the X68000. It's right there, X68000. Oh, it's right there. And, um, yeah, we, we did not get that one. I forget who made that even. Sega? I don't know. But, let's go to options. I want to, yeah. You get to pick your character. I played through the game once already, and I unlocked Silk. So I wanted, to, I wanted to play it with Silk this time and see how different it was. But it's it's a really fun game. It's a scrolling. It's, so it's it's about what you'd expect, and it's classic. So it doesn't, you know, really do a whole lot with the formula. It's bullet hell. There's bullets all over the place. It's got a really cool combo system. Um, but kind of the biggest surprise for me when I was playing this game was it turns out the entire thing is a commercial for candy. Yeah, that, uh, it's Willow, right? Willow is the name of it. And they're, they're little, like, candy balls. They're, like, wrapped up kind of hard candies, it looks like. Those things right there on the screen. It's Willow. It's even got the logo there in the text box, so... It's a witch who loves Willow. Mm-hmm. And she is adorable. And she's got a fairy friend who wants help named Silk. Was it the other one last time you played her? Was yeah, it was the witch when I played through the first time. Um, when you beat the game the first time, you get the option to play through again as Silk. But you were, the, you were caught in the first time? Oh, I was caught in the first time, yeah. She's the surly witch there that just wants to eat chocolate. And they're trying to convince her to, like, go collect all the chocolates to make a giant willow. Wait, is it chocolate or hard candy? Because it looks like hard candy, but I could see it could be chocolate, too. It's probably hard candy, actually, because when they, at one point they actually had the... They started naming off the flavors of it. And they did not sound like chocolate flavors, but... I could be wrong. Who knows? Because cotton candy also, which is a hard candy. It's hard cotton candy from hard candy. Yes. Well, it's definitely not... It's definitely not cotton candy, I think. Well, no, but like I said, now see. Okay, now uh, the deal is here. It's like a, your normal shooter. You kind of cruise around and shoot everything in sight. Uh, you can pick up the crystals, and there's a bullet. Uh, but and the you get power ups too. But kind of the part of the issue is those crystals, like the power up crystals will also kind of sort of block or reflect or do things to your shots. So you kind of need to pick them up to keep the path clear so you can continue blowing up enemies. Um, now once you build up your gauge, see in the bottom right corner, or the bottom left corner it says OK, I can do, well that's the super bomb. Yeah, and now I'm in jewel fever mode. So think of it like a pachinko machine, right? Um, once you're in jewel fever mode, like everything just turns into crazy points and you get like nutty score bonuses for it. Um, so you want to try to, like, hit that whenever you can, whenever there's bad guys around. I've got it queued up again. There we go. And more tons of bad guys. And you can see now it's, like, 256 times points. Like, that's a lot of points. So, if you can time it right, like, this key to, like, crazy good scoring in this game is, is using your, your bonus mode correctly. Um, and it's something that the first playthrough through I didn't really have a grip on. I started playing it a little bit more to kind of get used to it. Um, it's a really fun kind of method for doing it, but admittedly it's it's almost like primitive. But yeah, you can tell it's like it's kind of dated. Like the system itself, there are there have been like better kind of combo systems in scrolling shooters since then. Yeah, that's like that. Yeah, that's true. Also, and I'm sorry, I do not have a vehicle. <laughs> sorry. I bought it. No! I have to continue. Ah, he's garbage. And see, I could I could have grabbed, if he had more heads out, I could have converted his heads with my bonus mode, but I messed up my timing there. This is 
level one. Okay, here we go. You know, this is a lot tougher with, uh, maybe it's because I'm using silk, I'm not sure. Oh, I've got another button, too. My screen clearing bomb button that I haven't been using. Um, which generally I don't try to use, I don't get much points for it, but... Okay, here's my bonus mode. Yeah, yeah, that's actually a good idea. I should do that. Break down and use the screen clearing bombs, I suppose. Like, somewhere of, uh, you know, lifelong Twitch shooter bullet hell players are just like automatically like, skipping the video now. Okay. Did it. Yay! <laughs> and see, now it's tea time. So you have to collect these things. And the red ones are worth the big points. You're trying to get the red ones mostly. Um, I'm going to guess they're tea packets. I don't really get it, but... I'm usually in the dark on things like this. It's thoroughly Japanese-centric. <laughs> um, I kind of thought... When I first got this, I thought it was actually one of those games that came out on the uh, the PC Engine. Um, like the Turbo Graphics back in the day. Um, I don't think it really was. The only system I know had a cotton that I was trying to get was the uh, Neo Geo Pocket had one that was supposed to be released and uh, right before the system kind of closed up shop in North America they dropped it in Europe but we never got cotton over here so unless you got the European version um, this is I believe the first opportunity uh, like officially published opportunity that, that you had to play cotton in North America, in the States and you may purchase it at Amazon. Amazon. They are dropping Inin. Inin is the publisher. On, on Amazon right now, so if you want physical, physicals of Inin, you can get that over there on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Anywhere else? Not that I found. Yet. Interesting. So Amazon exclusive, I, I folks. Believe, I believe it is. Yes. Amazon exclusive and a culty bullet hell shooter, so that could be a sign that it's going to be crazy expensive too. So. I don't know. I mean, they have other they have other games from that inning that they're getting. That's true. They actually do a lot of fun stuff, to tell you the truth. Oh, oh. I'll pull it up you. See, I flew in the swamp and it kind of stuck me there. Yeah. The knives and the things. The crazy cloud monsters. Okay, here we go. Just with my bonus mode going. I gotta at least get my bonus comboed up to final mode. See, it, right now it's level 3. And if I can keep it for another time through, I can maybe get it to, like, the final. Yep, that's not gonna happen. I got the boss. Oh, it's just the mid-boss, though. Oh, you. It's not the real boss. Keep your eye on the prize, folks. Bullets. Oh, I don't even know what Willow is. Yeah, right? Like, I wonder if it's still around. Do they still make it? Can we buy it from the World Market or something? Oh, there you go. Oh my god, right? See, that would be a smart move, but... Yeah. It tells me they don't get a lot of call for Willow outside of Japan. Do they still? Because how old is this? This is like... Yeah. The original. The original is quite old, yeah. I think it's clearly a 16 or 32-bit. Yeah, I think it's like a 16-bit generation graphics. But... But skeleton hands killed me. Lame. Oh, okay. Look at the little detail.
tell in the background this. There's a little dog barking there. In the... Yeah, it's like some little ghost dog. It's like just yep, 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 yep. Kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a smaller rule. Uh, Story-wise, it's not one of the important rules that I'm supposed to be collecting, but it's is a power. Willow's always good. This guy, this is the actual boss of Willow, so not like a big boss at least. Thank God they have infinite continues because yeah, I don't see anybody beat this game out of that. That said, I'm sure there's like. Pro shoot one player oh, out there that okay. like just... one credit clear. So not me. Do I do more damage when I hit him in the head with the single look? It seems like his life goes down the same regardless of what I shoot him, so. But even if I hit his hand, it still seems yeah. to go down. You know, reminds me of the whole candy cross promotion thing. See, oh, there, there you go. Look, her hand's all gooey from the candy. willow. So maybe it has got like soft gooey centers. Like a taffy, maybe? That could be it. Yeah, maybe that's it. Like it's like a gooey taffy. I don't know. I know. I really want some. Right? See? Effective marketing, people. But, um, uh, Skittles did this too, you know. Uh, over here in the States, they had a whole game that was kind of cross promotion with Skittles. Oh. It was called, uh, Darkened Skies on GameCube. Okay. And, yeah, there were, like, Skittles sitting all over the place. It was like a power up or something. That's yeah, yeah, it was kind of odd, but, you know, hey, I guess if uh, you can get a candy company to make all your production costs, well, I mean, it's or no a portion of it. Blockbuster and I can't shoot behind me. This is really difficult. Uh, okay. Yeah. If I got my bonus mode up, thus enabling me to kill him. Oh, it's this head guy again. I'm level four now. That's as that best as I've been so far. Oh, but here's the mini boss. All in some tears. Wonder Boy. Oh, Asha and Monster Boy? Okay. That was the second of the recent re releases. Bubble Wobble. See, a lot of classic titles there. Really good, kind of. Classic. That's um, good. That's oh, good. which spring three, three, five, story of the marionette bridge. Very, it's a very long title. Wow. Oh, 
Oh, Ninja Savior. I played that one too. That was definitely an arcade game. Or arcade style game. Oh, uh, there we go. This thing. Oh, I just had my crazy bonus mode. This dumb eyeball laser thing killed me. Oh, Turrican. There's another classic. So yeah, seems like a lot of nostalgia value with their lineup. Yeah, so if you go to Amazon, I don't think you can get any of Time for water. Okay. <clears throat> Get a sip so that you can while you do this stuff. <clears throat> I was Jeez. gonna say pause it, but no, I'm not pausing it. Back. We are gonna tough it out. Look, she's got closer. three little candies now. One step closer. <clears throat> so is it that pixel originally? Uh, what pixel? Like the little loading. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, this is definitely, even though it's a remaster, it's so it still is, using it pixel, the original right. pixel art or an upgraded version of it. Right. I'm not really sure what the difference is. I haven't played it in the x86 mode, sure. oh, right, which right. I presume would be the original. Uh, uh, well, I mean, it's coming out because all oh. They have, um, one of the things, they, a different mode that they have in this game, the, uh, the arranged mode, is, uh, like a two minute and a five minute score attack, and the cool thing about that is, like, basically it gives you nothing but crappy crash mobs you can just sort of combo off of continuously, um, no bosses, and it lets you get really high scores up with their, their com <laughs> combo system, and it's a good way to kind of learn the combo system oh, that's cool. without having to get killed constantly by the bosses. sounds better than mini boss or not. I kinda like mini boss, but I guess like the boss's union probably is thinks it's the meaning. Yeah. 
of cake. Probably looks great. Part of it too is, I'm playing as Silk for the first time, I've got Cotton following me around, right. and it's easy to get kind of distracted, I keep looking at Cotton as far because as... Because that's your easy plan. Yeah, even though she's kind of grayed out a little bit, and not yeah, tangible, and not the one that takes damage, I keep, I keep trying to dodge with her. <clears throat> That's what it says in the bottom, it's just like the Pachinko machines. Bubbles keep pushing me out, I just finally realized that's what's been killing me. Tea time! Get ready! <clears throat> wow, I'm in there. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Is it just me or are they going faster now? I think it goes faster, faster the higher, the, the, higher, the, higher the level like, gets. All the white ones and avoiding the red ones. It takes a lot of skill to do that. <laughs> helping me out too by the way like the, she seems to be flying around and attacking guys behind me a little bit yeah. but Partly because it's a more dated shoot 'em up too, but yeah, this really is hard to keep track of their bullets and your bullets and all the bullets. Um, more modern bullet hells have a way, have better ways around that. They kind of engineer different ways to handle that problem, but it's still a lot of fun. I'm having a great time with it, and the um, the lighthearted kind of fun uh, uh, mood of the whole thing. Also, is kind of a nice change. Jewel fever, baby.
was at level 4 for one brief shining warm moment. Hardening for these bosses. They're like, man, I've got 47 attacks, I've got all this stuff going on. And player one just keeps putting in extra quarters. Well, no, they're just sort of switching places. Silk becomes the big one, and Cotton becomes the tiny one for that load screen. I don't know why, just because it's cute, I assume. She really wants the Willow. You don't get it, like... Apparently, Willow is, like, laced with some... Yes. Something. Yeah. Anime crack. That's the stuff. Okay, and I think this is the last level, so we we'll shall see. Very. Looks last level, right? Yes. Like it's all lava it and does. fire and fire. Maybe you're not happy with your level. Maybe you're so. so. Oh, what killed me? I don't even know what I'm calling it because I had a great combo going on there. Well, 50,000 bullets, maybe. And as far as this style of, you know, bullet hell goes, it doesn't even work, you know. This is. It's like probably pretty mild on the difficulty scale, but I'm having fun. This is a cool game. And finally, after all these years, I can finally play the cotton that I was haven't been able to play. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I've heard about this for a very long time. It's nice to be able to finally check it out. Oh, 
called Minotaurs. It says they're red cards. Oh, Minotaurs. Thank you. Little balls of Minotaurs. Sorry. I was so distracted. I Um, also, I looked at the trophies, and generally these type of games seem to be completely inapproachable as far as, like, if you wanted to try to platinum it. This one's better than most. Like, it, it seems to be not like I'm ever going to do it, but if you were trying to, like, go for the trophies on this one, you'd actually have a shot. It seems to be painful. None of them are, like, you know, beat the game. They, they drop it down, but they don't take it all. Let's see if there's another level. I think that's it. I'm so stupid. I need more cotton. Oh no, there's seven. I guess there's seven levels. Seven colored willow. Oh my gosh, look at that. Massive spring. Spring. See, listen to this. What is this thing? A zuki bean flavor and sakura flowers? Come on. Who doesn't want that? It sounds more like a tacky type of a thing. It could be. Spring Bouncy. texture though. Spring That's like a foam thing. <gasps> Maybe. Oh my. Silk's being sly in the background. Is that who that was? I couldn't tell who that was. I think so, yeah. Oh, here we go. See? Yep. 777. Collection six nana, colors nana, of the willow. Nana, nana, nana. <laughs> Final boss fight. 
Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, it looks like there's some giant little fairy thing. Oh, wow, that didn't work. Oh, wool, of course. Willow, silk, or silk cotton. where they get your quarters in the arcade. This is the last boss fight. They're like, okay, they're committed at this point. All the money. Oh yeah, you're gonna look it up? Well, I tried earlier, but then I, I... Dude, see if you can find it. If it's one of those, like, you can get it in, like, Japanese snack boxes, or those yeah, mystery box candy boxes, sure. that would be worth it. Because I'll tell you what, like, advertising or no, I really want some. until it says tea time. Right? Oh, that's a pretty background. Hey! What? Just like <sighs> that? A range mode cleared with silk. And there you go. See? Willow. Okay, it's... Uh, you would think if they put out for this game that they would still be in business. But you know what? That's not true. Yeah. So many things. A lot of things have gone out of business. and After putting up. Or was it earlier you were just talking about the Ready Player One and... Um, oh yeah, how Battleborn, Battleborn was featured heavily in it and that closed their doors shortly thereafter. Oh boy. Um, actually, what was it? The other uh, candy tie-in Gunstar Heroes for the 
Creates the colors in our dimension. See? They really, it's like, a, it's a plot point. They're not just like, oh, by the way, Willow is a power-up. It is, Willow is the true power of the universe and the light of light itself. Cotton's not getting any Willow at all. That's the moral of the story. That's just sad. That happened on her birthday too. Yeah. I guess I get to keep yeah, worth mentioning. It's actually the same ending now that I played through it with Silk. This is the same ending I got when I played through it with Cotton. So, if you're looking for more Willow-related story content uh, to work with your, you know, Willow fanfic that you're cooking up. Um, oh my goodness, she turned to stone. Poor thing. <laughs> Golden Willow. Golden Willow. What? This is she really is. I'm gonna have to. Not this game. This whole game is like really focused on this Willow. Yeah, really? right? Now, now I'm like really sucked into it. Mm -hmm. Off the go to get Willow. Off the eBay to get Willow. Well, now at this point, if it's been out of business as long as it's been can you imagine how stale and nasty that Willow would be if it's been 50 years? I, I can't imagine it's been 50 years. Okay, well, I want the Azuki Bean Willow. You can have the Sakura Blossom. I'll do that. Right? See, so there you go. See, those look like hard candies, though. See? See, that's why I thought. But I have no idea at this no. point. Well, I'm going to do some more research. All of it There's looks like the stuff you'd find in your grandma's candy bowl. <laughs> It's There's just gonna break your teeth. Space below for comments if anybody has found this willow, knows what this willow is. <laughs> Please enlighten us. <laughs> I'm really curious and really, really like drawn to it. Now look, there's that. Like, are those emeralds or are those like chunks of willow? Because that could be. I think it's both. I think there's emeralds we've been picking up for gems, and then there's also the candy well, I willow see chunks. The candy wrap, but I thought maybe the emeralds were unwrapped willow. I guess that's no. possible. Wow, if they look like gemstones, that would be... No wonder they were so popular. Pretty fancy, right? Sugar. Sugar, you can do so many things with... Oh my gosh. Anyway, this is a really great game. If you like scrolling shooters, you should give it a try. If you like retro shooters, give it a shot. If you like anything success-made, they're a really kind of popular vintage uh, um, shoot-em-up company. They, they do some great stuff. Yeah, they're always solid, and this is no exception, so... Yeah, it's a lot of fun, and thank you, Inan, for publishing it here in the States so we can finally get a chance to play it. Yay! Yeah. Years, years, years later. And I was looking to see if they have any reference here, like, go to the store by Willow. I know, right? Now if Inan would just, like, remake this uh, this Willow stuff, then we can finally try that. This is a fun game. It's got great music, too. And, oh my gosh, yeah, it does. The sound is excellent. But also, it is. Uh, I can now finally play it. So, oh my god, right? Yeah, yeah about time. Uh, well, I'm sorry, guys. I was hoping there would be some input. Oh, look, see, there's velvet, wool. Yeah, there's all sorts of fabrics. The velvet fabrics queen. and the... candies. Mm -hmm, yeah. yeah. Odd how fabric. it's kind of fabric themed. I would have thought they would have gone for flavors, like maybe the characters could have been the names of the willow flavors. Well, there's what the station has tobacco. I guess, what? yeah, the guy's name is tobacco. What? Oh my goodness, it's getting crazy. Yeah, Captain America fan, I guess. Because the Steve was in quotes. Like, he's not actually uh, Steve. He just likes us to call him that. Well, thanks for joining us, I suppose. Absolutely. See you next time. <laughs>